Our ideals are not entirely aligned. If we are to work together, we must be willing to compromise. To that end, I'm willing to share certain secrets with you. Information that I choose not to reveal, however, is best left unexplored. For your own good, of course. You wish to know more about me? Why, of course. Our relationship is one of mutual trust. There's little need to keep things hidden. I would only inquire as to whether you're truly prepared for what you might learn. Secrets can be sharper than a knife. Innocent curiosity can lead to dangerous places. For the longest time, there wasn't anything I desired. Until the idea came to me to assassinate Crucibina. It was a ludicrous thought then. She was a harbinger, famed and experienced. And nearly everything I knew about fighting was taught by her hand. However, it appears you need only desire something with sufficient intensity and the gods will answer. In the end, I gained a vision. And after making certain sacrifices, I mastered this power. Surpassing one's teacher often requires the pursuit of the unexpected. Flames course through my body like blood. This may be nothing but a figure of speech to some, but for me, it's the harsh reality of my existence. Fate can be a peculiar thing. When I was young, Mother favored me due to the unusual set of abilities I possess. No one was able to discern their true nature, not even me. We would only speculate that they were the result of some sort of hereditary curse. Whatever the origin of my power. All I knew was that it was the source of my strength, and often the impetus for my suffering. It was only after I became a Harbinger that I finally learned the truth from the Jester. He expressed surprise that the Crimson Moon bloodline had not gone extinct, and that, in a strange twist of fate, the House of the Hearth had ended up in the hands of an orphan of that lineage once again. I cannot say what the future holds. I trust fate will give me an answer in time, and when it does, I'm prepared to do things my way, even if that means striking down fate with my own two hands. My Snezheviches and Snezhevnas, those with the courage to walk through shadow, even when the world gets dark, and the conviction to embrace the heat, even at the risk of getting burned. I will do my utmost to teach them how to navigate life. The House of the Hearth begs favors from no one, like a spider, we hunt for what we want. No one has the power to choose where they come from. But we all have the right to fight for the life we want. In this sense, the world is both unfair and just an equal measure. I don't take in children out of a desire for recompense. In fact, should they so wish, the children are free to leave and pursue a life outside my organization so long as they're willing to pay the price.